You're familiar with the file system. Now, you're going to learn how to navigate Linux and move files with file commands. But before that, here's a brief overview of the command syntax. Syntax is the format of how you write commands and its conditions to perform a certain action on a file or program. It's usually case sensitive. A syntax is usually made up of three parts. The command, the option, and the file name or argument. However, there are many commands that don't require an option or file name. The command is the, the specific code or action you want to execute. An option is the conditions of the command, usually has a hyphen and letter, for example, hyphen A. The last part is the, the file name or argument. This is the file or program that you want to perform the command or action on. The PWD command, P, WD means print working directory. This command will print or show the directory or path that you're currently in. The syntax is PWD. Let's write this in the terminal. This command printed on the screen shows that we're currently within the home directory of Ozboxes. The ls command. The ls command will list all the files and folders within a directory. The syntax is ls. There are 12 folders and 3 files within this home directory. ls with the hyphen a option is a command that lists all files, including hidden ones. Now you can see all the files that you didn't see with the last command. The mkdir command. This command creates new directories in the current location. The syntax is mkdir option, directory name. Let's create a new directory called birds. Now, let's use the ls command to see if this command was successful. As you can see, there's the new birds directory within the home directory. The R, M, command. This command removes files, directories, and symbolic links from the file system. Here is the syntax, R, M, options, file name. However, different options remove different things. R, M is used to remove files. R, M, hyphen, R removes directories. R, M, hyphen, R, F removes directories without requiring confirmation. Let's type the R, M, option, R, command to remove birds. When you use the ls command, you'll see that the bird folder or directory is no longer present. The touch command, this command creates a new empty file. The syntax is touch file name. Let's create a file called parrots. Using the ls command, you can see that the file is in the home directory. The cp command, this command copies files into another file. You can also see this as creating a new version of the same file. The syntax is CP options file name file name 2. This means that to copy a file, enter the name of the file to be copied and then the destination or second file's name. This creates two files with the same information but a different name. This can be very helpful if you need to back up data. Let's CP parrots onto eagles. Now there are two files within the directory. Same information but different name. The R option is for directories. The CPR command copies directories instead of files. You'll be copying the content from one directory and putting it in another. Let's use CPR to copy the cat's directory into the dog's directory. Here's the content in cats. We're now going to use the CPR command. This should create copies within the dog's directory. Now you can see that a copy of the cat's directory is within the dog's directory. The mv command. This command moves files or directories from one place to another. It requires the file you want to move and its new destination or place. So the syntax is mv options file name directory. For example, let's move the kitten's file to the cat's directory. Now, the kitten's file is within the cat's directory and it's no longer within the home directory. 